Understand that paganism and Christianity don't go together. True. And close. please pray for, again, for the people in Florida for safety mm -hmm. because that, that hurricane has already hit part of Florida. Yes. pray for Marilyn because she's not here because the inside of her front door is all flooded and she's got to have her hopefully the landlord will fix it immediately the leak mm -hmm. and also pray for my sister Pat well it's her Son and people down that way in Carolina. I don't know. North or South Carolina all have COVID. And then um, pray for Leora, which is my middle daughter. She's having some emotional difficulties. Mm -hmm. And Amanda also has a special prayer request. She wants to pray with Laura. Dealing with something. So. Okay, we'll certainly pray. Let the church stand and let everybody pray. Oh, gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, we certainly thank you and praise you. May your grace and mercy and love be kind. We ask the Lord that you bless each and every request that's been made known. You know each and every one of them one by one. And we ask you, Lord, that you move by your power, move by your grace. And cause it to happen in the name of Jesus. Let those that are down in Florida, Lord, give them comfort, give them peace, put your head in protection about them. Bless all serene families, Lord, let your spirit rest rule and abide. That's our Bible study here on tonight. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yeah. 
Ratcliffe family in the passing of Jackie Ratcliffe. Um, as the Lord will bless the family and watch over the kids. Amen. I want to invite your attention back over to the book of Galatians, chapter number five. Galatians, chapter number five. And we were talking uh, last week about the Spirit, about the Spirit, about the Spirit. Amen. About the Spirit and walking in the Spirit. Galatians 5 and uh, 16. And, you know, if you were to study the Bible, you find out that you are uh, spirit, soul, and body. Spirit, soul, and body. And um, your spirit, the, your human spirit, is, is the part of you that communicates with God. God communicates with you through your spirit. And, it, and, and it's interesting that it's in that order. Spirit, soul, and body. And uh, your soul deals with your intellect, your will, your desire, your emotion. It makes up who you are. And your body is what you live through. You, you, carry, you carry out the deeds and the actions of your soul. You follow? And um, when, when the fall happened, when the fall happened, when Eve uh, she saw that the, the, the fruit of the tree of the knowledge was good for food. She saw that it was there to make one wise. The lust of the flesh, the other life, and, 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 she, and she desired it. Amen? Um, when she accepted that thought from the enemy, there, there was a fall, and when that fall happened, it literally uh, changed the order of spirit, soul, and body. Mm -hmm. Now, the soul is first. We put our desires and our wants, and we're led by our human nature. When we were supposed to be led by the spirit of nature. You see that? And, and so, so it's literally now spirit, body, and uh, no. Literally now it's, it's, it's soul, body, and spirit. The spirit is last. People communicate with God last. <laughs> they don't put God first the way it should be. So when we when we look at these particular scriptures, God's intent is to put things back in order. Amen. And in order for fallen man to be put back in order, God has to send his spirit. Amen. He sends his spirit. To, to, <laughs> to, to, to put us back in order so that his spirit can lead us and guide us. Amen? Amen. All right. So we see it in, in the book of, in the book of Galatians, chapter number five. Um, and, and I really, uh, we hit on this last week pretty strong, and I really want to, uh, in my mind, I'm going to talk about the fruit of the Spirit, but I just want to review real quickly um, what we've already talked about. Galatians chapter 5 and verse 16, Paul says, This I say then, what? Walk in the Spirit, Walk in the spirit and he shall what? Not fulfill, Not fulfill the, the lust of the flesh. He says, walk in the spirit, and ye shall not, that word fulfill means gratify, please, the flesh. And when it's talking about the flesh, it's not talking about your body. It's talking about your, your, your 
your, your carnal nature, your human nature, uh, that, that, that wants to be gratified, that wants to be satisfied. And your human nature is against God because of the fall. Uh, it goes after what, what see, that's, that's powerful when you look at what Eve did. It says, when she saw uh, that, that it was good for food, you follow me? And, and pleasurable to make one lie. Uh, but our human nature, it goes after what we see. Uh, what, what we think is going to make us uh, uh, pleasurable, to satisfy. And it, and it doesn't operate all out of love, but it operates out of lust, which is evil desire. You with me? Desire. Amen. Hallelujah. So, so, so Paul said, uh, verse 16, this I say then, walk in the what? Spirit. Spirit. In other words, walk by the Spirit. And, and what he's saying is, allow the Holy Ghost, that word Spirit there is Holy Ghost, allow the Holy Ghost to influence your decisions. Huh? To influence your desires. Which will in turn influence your deeds. Amen. Amen. We, sh we should be, uh, to be led by the Spirit means to be influenced by the Spirit. To allow the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost always speaks to us. It's talking to us even now. Uh, and, it's, and, it's, and it's deciphering in our minds what is good and what is evil. Uh, and it's up to us to allow it for the Holy Ghost or Him uh, to, to, to lead us and to dominate our decision making. Amen? So Paul said, uh, walk in the Spirit. And if you do that, if you allow the Holy Ghost to dominate your will, dominate your desires, uh, to, to dominate your intellect, to help you. The Holy Ghost is a teacher. <laughs> it teaches you. It teaches you in your mind. Amen. It gives you wisdom. What wisdom? The wisdom of God. Amen. Righteous wisdom. It's the spirit of truth. Uh, it will always reflect to you truth. And then when you choose God's decisions, the Holy Ghost will also comfort you. Uh, uh, because sometimes in choosing God's decisions, it's rough on us sometimes. Uh, but the Holy Ghost will comfort you. Uh, and when you when you are in a in a in a, a fork in the road uh, trying to decide, the Holy Ghost will pray for you, uh, make intercession for you that that you will uh, uh, drop your net and follow after Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So it's valuable. You need it. It's necessary. Uh, if you're going to tell them you don't need the Holy Ghost, they don't have it. <laughs> uh, they're not going to understand. Because anybody with the Holy Ghost, they'll tell you, you need it. Yes. <laughs> I'm so glad I got it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Say, uh, you need it. Uh, you need that. Yeah. <laughs> People who don't have it, they don't think it's out. You don't need that. You don't, they don't take off. Oh, Jesus. Uh, they, they tell you that because they don't have it. Uh, mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, go ahead. If you don't have it, that means you're leaning on your own understanding. And you know what the scripture says about that. Yeah. yeah. Now look. And, and that's what 